And turning to politics now, President Obama slammed at the National Menorah Lighting Ceremony a rabbi furious over his decision not to stop a U.N. vote against Israel settlements. This is tensions grow between the president and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, our very own Kristen Fisher, live in Washington, D.C. this morning with the very latest on that. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Jackie. Well, the Israeli government is accusing the Obama administration of not only refusing to block that U.N. resolution, but also creating and campaigning for its passage. Well, that prompted a very strong reaction from senior White House officials. They say, quote, the U.S. did not draft this resolution, nor did the U.S. introduce this resolution. The Egyptians, in partnership with the Palestinians, are the ones who began circulating an earlier draft of the resolution. But at the same time, the U.S. did refused to use its veto power at that Security Council vote, condemning Israeli settlements on the West Bank. Well, the move prompted Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to recall the U.S. ambassador, saying friends don't take friends to the Security Council. Over decades, the American administrations and Israeli governments have disagreed about settlements. But we agreed that the Security Council was not the place to resolve this issue. We knew that going there would make negotiations harder and drive peace further away. Well, tensions between the U.S. and Israel es uh, escalated even more overnight when the rabbi who was in charge of the National Hanukkah Menorah Lighting Ceremony, which is held right outside of the White House, he used the ceremony to publicly criticize the Obama administration's actions. I know that some of us are so sad at what happens there with regard to Israel. We must remember that the way to counter any darkness, any disappointment, is not with harsh rhetoric, not with anger, but by creating light. Or perhaps through a new administration. The Israeli Prime Minister says he's looking forward to working with President-elect Trump come January 20th, which is now Inauguration Day, just 25 days away. Hard to believe. Jackie 25 and Lisa. days. Can you I, I, I can't believe days. it. I can't even believe this year's over. I'm 25 days to that inauguration. It's been a fast one. All right. Thank you, Kristen. Live in our nation's capital. Thank you.